What's up guys, it's Flash here, and we're back with another FN 2014 episode, as the team of Kidderminster Harry is. And we are still in the Skrill Premier, because this is March, well March fixtures, and coming off a bit of an average week again, we're always getting these average weeks, where in the last month of February we got two wins, two draws, and one loss from five games. Which has left us in fourth overall. Uh, quite close between the top, th well, th between second and s well seventh. It's all close between those five team, six teams, and there's only four that can actually go into the playoffs. We got Forest Green, who's just ran away with it, as I expected them to. I mean, they've got a decent bit of, sh they just got a decent squad all around, really. Yeah, maybe Barnes Home has scored ten in the league, and I think Danny Wright scored a bit more. Yeah, fifteen. So yeah, they're doing really well for themselves. Now for this month, we do have a bit of a well, not really great month, but we have Barnet and Cambridge in the same month. So we do have a couple of hard fixtures, so we need to be ready for that. So, we do have a bit of time between, um, well, a whole week between Cambridge and um, Kidderminster to face off. So, I'll skip ahead to that game. So, I'll see you guys in six days. Right, here we are. We are playing Cambridge away, so that, that it's an iffy match. Because our waveform is utter stupid. <laughs> it's completely another crap, to be honest. And, um, yeah, so, just after this match, Nazala will be getting an international call-up to play for his country, so we will have to put in George King, who just came back off loan, into the, um, S2 position, so, at least we'll be, at least we have backup for that. Play Fowler. In that position, we're going to play him as the advanced playmaker. We're going to keep on battle in the S5 position because we need him there. And apart from that, that's kind of a bit. Whoa, hang on, hang on. Kevin yeah, Novaney's back. Forgot about this. So now we can place him there. And then we can place Papa Johnson back in the S4 position. Now we're back up to full strength. There we go. Just hoping that Devaney can actually get back into fitness again, because his potential is dropping, and that's not what we want. Helps to make a change. See what Cambridge have got for me. Kernington's on the bench, which is a bit weird, but they are playing 4-4-2. Cambridge could potentially take over three teams. Um, well, Barnett's going to win theirs. Lincoln could potentially lose theirs, but it's not huge loss. Gates said, yeah, it's a winnable game for Forest Green. And Macclesfield have Welling. And, yeah, that's a potential loss, but you never know. Anyway. Have no advice, as per usual, but it's a 4-4-2, so we're just going to... We're just going to, um... Play the usual tight mark and weak foot. And then when Adam Cunnington comes on, because he will come on, we're going to close him down and shove on his weaker foot as well. Whoa, no, 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 not tackling. Hate tackling. Continuing on to team talk, we should try and encourage the team, give it a um, calm team talk. God damn, piss me, but no one's going to answer to that. So why not just give him the faith? As those regular viewers may know, the faith talk always works for me. It makes everybody happy, and that's what. I, and that's the main thing at the end of the day. As long as they have something, and well, those three didn't really have anything specific to do, but it made six people happy, and it's good. 
And Stora just, uh, you know, he nicks the ball, good play, and then he just passes it straight to them back. He's just like, yeah, yeah, we'll give you a chance, give you a chance. <laughs> so it looks like Cambridge do have a free kick there. And it's gone in. The rebound not going anywhere. And, well, actually, no, the, the clearance didn't go anywhere, and they just left them to smack it. Uh, here we go. Oh, uh, we we pair back immediately. Malwan scores from the um the free kick, so that's a good fight back. They score from a defensive set piece. We will do the same thing. Looks like Cambridge are going to get a highlight immediately. Uh, Gowling stops that for Fowler to Stora, and then all the way back to Danny Lewis, and then Stora passes it all the way to Gittings. Gittings finds Malwan. Devaney manages to keep the ball there, and it's been cleared out. I don't know why he just didn't give it to Marwin, because he was onside. Got a corner here. Got Devaney, tries to go for a shot, and it's trickled in. Fowler scores. It may count as an own goal, though. It may count as an own goal. So we won't know who scored that. Out. Oh. Oh, you got to be kidding. No, they're losing, so they decide to injure my best defender. Yeah. Freaking great. Freaking great. Great. Well, we'll turn on to full, see who scored. Well, actually, no, no, it's not. It's, um, overview. Uh, yeah, it was an own goal. Charlie Adams' own goal. Um, things are going well. I know you're capable of better. But we're going to give them the faith talk. Because the faith talk is just so much better. There we go. So we've already made our first substitution. It's for our defensive. It's a defensive substitute. Just hope it's a good one. And again, it's easy. He's my only defender on the bench, so you know. Fowler gives it to Devaney, and yeah, that's the end of that highlight. Gonna have Lewis kick it all the way up to Gash. Won't go anywhere, but it falls to Vaughan. Got Fowler tries to find Malbin, it falls to Gash. Back to Devaney. Passing through the midfield here. Great, great passing here. Stora goes all the way back to Lewis. That's a bit risky from that far out. And we've got Mickey Dimitri who passes it back to Lewis. Oh, what the? And defensive. Freaking. Uh, what, a, what a clearance. <laughs> Kick it straight to him. Yeah, that's a great idea. Just like, bounce it. Yeah, see how easy we could get a rebound off a player. <sighs> so it's 2 2. And, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to make a sub. Gash has picked up a knock, so we will have to take him off. And uh, we, we might as well ring on Jack Byrne. He's got a bit of confidence right now. And that's what we're looking for. We're going to play him as our box-to-box -box midfielder. Making two substitutions now, mainly because they might try and start getting back into the game in terms of shots and, and the like, so I really don't want that happening. Uh, defensive corner here. Gets headed out. Miller. Uh, oh, come on. Really? 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 Seriously, why are we getting so many losses due to freaking own goals, defensive mistakes, and the like? I mean, seriously, what the hell is going through my players' minds when they think of that? Uh, better get the ball up now, otherwise it's going to be game. Uh, yeah, that's cleared out, so there we go, that's the game right there. Unless Elliot can, like, just get a goal. And that is it. That is it, we have lost to Cambridge. Oh, for frick's sake. Two defensive errors, and it costs us the game. Seriously, why are we so bad away? Oh, wow. Freaking sucked. Freaking sucked.
Barnet drop points. I'm going to look further down. Macclesfield drop points and um, Dartford drop points. Basically, everybody drop points, ex including Lincoln, who lost. Could have had such a great opportunity to just jump into second place. Uh, no. We need to finish second because of freaking Macclesfield. And that's what, because we want them in the playoffs. Rather than teams like Barnet or Lincoln where they can score heavily. And Gash is injured. And so is Dunkley. Oh, for God's sake. We don't have a second backup def defender. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to give him an injection. I'm not giving him an injection because he's only going to be out for three to four weeks. And Gash is out for the same amount of time. So they'll be back for the end of the season at least. At least. Well, that sucks. Well, at least Ryan Rowe's going to get himself a chance to be in the squad, so... At least we have a replacement, Tiger Man, and, um... Ben Schlitter. For the strikers. It's just for the defenders, we're kind of a bit short, since um, Nazala goes on holiday. Well, not on holiday, but on um, international duty on the 5th. And... Give me a minute. While I'm showing this, might as well just have a look. Since we're away, freaking defensive positioning. Because why not? Uh, having a look at Nazalia. When is their game? Next match is on the 5th. Three days from now. Yeah, so he might be back for the game, actually. He might be back. And that is a might. Because they're playing at home, so they, he's only got to go to Africa. He's not, like, going all the way to, like, South America or something. So he could potentially be back, but I don't think he'll be match fit. I could withdraw him from the squad if I want to, but that's but that could potentially, um... damage the player's confidence, because... and make him hate me. Because I denied him an opportunity to play for his country. Oh, 22nd of March against Southport. <laughs> uh, Wrexham just dropped points, but Braintree's up to um, fifth now. Ooh. 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 Advance forward. Look at that! Oh, seriously! Making the third best midfielder, but his potential will make him better than Mobs, oh, for God's sake. I'll add him to the shortlist, we'll come back later for him. Should, should Marbon wish to leave? Which, should we not get promoted and all that? Sure, I'm all, I'm all for giving the strikers some um, competition, but when it comes to it, I don't really want to sign two really fantastic strikers, because if they both get picked off by transfers, then I'm like, ugh, I'm going to have to make an emergency signing. Prefer to have one and keep my options open, or have a potential, which is what I've got. So we're going to be playing the Wrexham game, I am just literally just not doing the usual skip. Uh, well, Stebben believes uh, Danny Lewis has improved. Let's have a look-see. Yep, I can agree with that. The news is getting better and better. I don't see why that doesn't turn into... Um, Actual thing. Wow, Ashley the Young get w won the game with the penalty. Uh, yeah. So, moving to the Wrexham game. It is an away game. We have got quite a few away games. 
However, the Barnet game's at home, I believe. And the Southport game's at home. Which is at the 22nd. I'm not sure about the one between those two games, though, which is... I don't know. Personally, I'm hoping that... Nazala is back. For the game. And he is. Which is quite nice, to be fair. That is very nice. Uh, yeah, we'll keep him like that. We're going to promote George King up to the S2 position. <laughs> yeah, George King didn't really do too well when he was at loan to Bury Town, two leagues below, but he wasn't really improving. Which technically isn't really good enough, but, you know, what can I do? What can I do? So... And Barlow will be taking the target man spot of Gash, whilst Mr. Rowe will take the S5 position. So, having a look. Um, yeah, Devaney will can continue to be there. In terms of anybody else, uh, I don't really see any point of making any more. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Uh, number will be given to one player in the squad, which will be George King. We'll be giving him the 26 shirt. Come next season, I will be um, selecting numbers based on my preference rather than real life preference and all that, so I can actually can tell the numbers just from looking at them rather than trying to use memory and all that. So we could potentially go up to second again in the table. But that's just all if right now. Wrexham are having a bad season. And they are in real life too, so you can see why. And we are going to be... Wow, where's um, Jelkwitz? Jelkwitz is like their freaking best player. Where the frick did he go? Oh well. I'm going to look around. Oh, wow, they've actually completely missed a lot of their team. Then again, they are playing us where we won the last two matches. So, yeah. Nah, they're giving the fans cheer. Doing it for the fans does nothing in this game. In FM 2010, I use that fan, fan um, team talk a lot. And it actually does get some re nice results, but... Pff. When you um doing on this game, it doesn't really do anything. But anyway, Kidderminster versus Wrexham. Oh no, here we go. This is just, this is going to be one. Oh god, what's going to happen? Please don't freaking concede. Please don't concede. And it's just going to be that whole game, really. I mean, three percent possession. Yeah, <laughs> from the first minute. Uh, oh thank God! I didn't want an, I didn't want a yellow card so early on in the game because it pretty much takes Warren out of the game. It's going to be physical. Is Wrexham games are always physical with us? We're actually going to switch to counter right now. It looks like Gregan plays it to Ralph, then all the way back to Grant, then to Ralph, then to Ashton. Ashton goes up to Crichton, to Gregan, or to Giggin, or whatever you pronounce it, or to Omerod, and. Yep. Wow, really? And store is off. Again. Oh, for God's sake. That's the fourth time, Stora. Fourth time. <sighs> Seriously, why is Stora getting so many yellow cards? Well, they're going to be have to change our tactics now for this. We're going to be playing Marwan just up front as the lone striker. And, yeah, things are going to get real. We're going to be playing... Mr. Byrne, as uh, I'm not going to chance ball winning. Uh, I'm going to play him as an uh, advanced playmaker. We're going to switch Hamilton Forbes to box to box. And we're going to be switching these guys to limited fullbacks. Because I'm shutting up shop. Um, in terms of anything else, um, switching wingers to support, maybe? Will probably be my best bet. Yeah. Just have Marwan up front alone. 
Let's see how they deal with that. Because we're just going to be playing defensive all game. So we got Gregan. Guess for the shot. Oh, and he scores. Can't we actually freaking save these defensive set plays? I mean, we're getting these in real life now. I don't even know why I play store anymore. He just keeps getting himself sent off. Freaking pissing me off. Oh, and someone else has picked up an injury. And it's Nazawa. Oh, come on. Thank God I brought George King back. Now, King, don't get injured. Okay? I don't have another defensive sub. It's my second sub in the first half. Seriously, my, my options in the second half are going to be completely another shot. Yet we've been controlling this game. What the frick? <laughs> Attacking corner. And King scores. Suck it, Wrexham. Freaking trying to injure my players and also get them sent off. I don't think so. We are going to go down that easy. We've been unlucky so far. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can still come out of this match with a win. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The face! The face! Give me the face! Give me the face! So then, we're kicking off this time. Ten men against eleven men. Wrexham one-one. So yeah, the wow, that's a uh, hopeful ball, so to speak. Uh, George King heads it to to Gittings. Gittings tries to find Marlborn. It goes all the way to my Abbey. I don't think Marlborn's going to be running for those kinds of balls because he's all out by himself. Vaughan heads it all the way to Gittings. Once again, the long ball to Marlborn, and it gets saved for a corner. So, a clear-cut chance. We've got Devaney with the corner. It goes all the way to my Abbey. Straight to him. So, goal kick. Burn has it to Marlborn. Oh, and a bad pass completely screws that up. Um, Ashton to, Cry to Crichton, and Gowling to Burn to Marlborn to Gittings. Gittings will try and find Marlborn again. Goes to Devaney. Devaney tries to find Marlborn. Marlborn's got the ball. And it gets back out to Devaney. Got Marlborn. And it gets cleared. Got King. Um, into, oh, defensive corner. Goal. Thought so. Defensive set play. With a yellow card at Gowling equals, oh god, what's going to happen? And that's exactly what happened. Danny Lewis with the, with the um, goal kick. Well, not the goal kick, the free kick. We've got Devaney, passes it to Melbourne. Melbourne goes for, gets the corner kick. They are really closing Melbourne down. And we've got Gittins with here with an offensive corner. Tries to go for Gowling, and that's a goal kick. I mean, look at how many shots we've had. They've had two shots. Two on target. They got them both. Seriously. That's annoying. Freaking annoying as hell. So 70 minutes in, we're going to bring on some pace in the form of Marvin Johnson. And we're going to make him an attacking inside forward. We're going to be a bit creative here. We're going to try and bring him on to charge all the time. Here we go, offensive free kick. And it... <laughs> <laughs> wow, who scored that? Uh, he's going all the way from Gettings. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice goal. Great free kick. Danny Lewis with the free kick. Tries to find Malvern. It's headed back to Carrington. It's cleared all the way to Lewis. He'll take that very nicely. Lewis has no choice but to kick it up. Malvern heads it to Gittins on the left. And Gagan fouls Gittins. He could be off. He could be off. And he's off. It's a 10 versus 10 man battle. 
This could be interesting. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get a first away win in like ages. Come on. Come on. It's probably not going to be, but you know, things aren't going to happen. Throw it into overload. Just risk it. Yellow it. Oh, defensive corner. Goal. Frick's sake. Defensive corner equals goal. Really? Really? We throw it away. Ugh. Can't defend the freaking corner. Can we get the same thing, please? Can we just get the same thing? No, nah, we're not going to get the same thing. That's it. GG. Frickin' hell. Why? Yeah, it, it, it wasn't our night. Callan Gaines getting man of the match. 8.4. Galling, of course, not doing too good. Yeah, costing us a few. That we pretty much got a lot of the game in our favour, but we just didn't get it. Seriously, every game we freaking lose when it's away, and this guy is getting sent off and everything. Ugh, freaking hell. Why is it always away? He gets banned for four matches for four yellow for four freaking red cards. Like, here you go. Here's your freaking week's wage fine. Is shocked. <laughs> yeah, get out of my squad. Getting tired of that. Getting tired of having four see, four games of mine just completely thrown away because of Stora getting sent off. I know he's a ball winning midfielder, but seriously, it's getting annoying. The fact he's getting sent off because he can't get a tackle. Right. And uh, no. 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 Wow. <laughs> yeah, looking into their futures. Mm, I'll have to do that at the end of the season. Uh, look at the top. Wow, Gittins has actually come into the most of this category. Right, so I believe we're now fifth. No, we're still fourth. Just... <laughs> Literally, yeah, there's a, a load of teams that could take over me. It's getting annoying. And now we're facing Barnet at home. Which we are going to skip to. Because I really want to just, like... You know. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys for the Barnet game. We're not at the game yet, just need to... um. Bring in a, something new that actually just happened. We've had a new intake of youth players for next season in terms of youth potential. So let's see if we got anybody new. Uh, I'm gonna look at the. Uh, we got a lot here from Kidderminster. Um, got a couple here from Starbridge. Uh, one from Beaudley. One from Redditch. Um. But, rather than just going to the potential, I'm just going to have a look through them. So, here we go. Rich had Bullock. Midfield center, defensive mid. He has a report of one and a half stars. So, not really something I would look into. Uh, we've got a goalkeeper, Steve Wood. Has potential of two stars. So, at least we're heading up in the world. So he could protect he, uh, lower uh, division like north and south probably be his best bet. We got Malcolm Westwood from Stalbridge, defensive mid midfielder, potential one and a half stars. Not really great. Um, Bobby Taylor, right back, centre back from Kidderminster. Oh wow, oh wow. Yeah, not really good for me. Sorry. Um. Calvin Eagle from Kidderminster, defender, defensive mid, and mid centre. Mainly defensive mid, I think. Not really that great either. Alfie Vines, defence right, and he's only got one star in terms of report. We got Roy Brindley, who is our potential. So let's have a look at him. 
five stars. Now that's something. I'm going to look at the stats. Ooh. Look at the coach report. You can go to League One. And that's from defensive mid. In terms of that, can't really be sure. He's like eighth there. He's like the eighth best midfielder in the club in terms of central mid. But that can easily change. Could become a good defender. Central defender. <laughs> yeah. Go have one with that. Anyway, moving on. We got Martin Colorado, the left back from Kidderminster. Potential of one star. So he's not really good enough for the main squad. You got Robert Wildig from Stourbridge. Right back. Centre back. Uh, one and a half star potential. Not really that great. Got Josh Wadcock. Uh, a, well, uh, attacking mid right striker. Half star potential. No. I don't think so. Jerome Scott from Redditch. Striker. One star potential. Not really great. Craig Blith. Attacking mid left. Potential of half a star. Uh, we haven't really had quite good um, people this time around. Defensive left back, Christopher Murphy. Half star potential. Yeah, wow, these regions suck. We can Joe Cousins, Blue Beaudley. Half star potential. For frick's sake, come on. Can I have more than one potential? Bill Packer. Half, one and a half star potential. For frick's sake. So, having a look at the youth candidates. That's it. That's it. Is are we serious? Are we serious? So for for only for one of our people, we're gonna sign him on a youth contract. Yep. And that's about it. We're gonna we're gonna offer a youth contract to the keeper because we need one. But that's about it. That is it from the candidates. That is it. And that's how bad the youth candidates was this year. Just not good enough. And look at the under 18s, yeah, we didn't get good either from that. So we got under 21s, yeah, we, and the senior squad. Not really great this year. In my practice file we had, uh, I got a regen that was Current level, he was attacking mid right slash striker, and he had current ability was like three and a half star. He could already play in like actually no, it wasn't three and a half star. It was four and a half, well four star, because he could already play. He already had league two. Um, current ability, and um, uh, five star potential, which potential to go in the prem. So yeah. Wow. Are you serious? You offered him a freaking youth contract? Are you serious? Wow, he's offered them to everybody. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Fine, we have to deal with them. We have to deal with n crappy potential for another season. Yeah. Yeah, the youth setup isn't that great here. So, it's all about the luck. And here we are with the Barnet game. Well, last time we lost 4-0 to them. Let's just hope we don't do the same crappy mistake again. So, in terms of midfielder, we're going to be playing Danny Jackman in the usual position. At least he can play ball winning midfielder without getting himself sent off. <sighs> but anyway, having a look at the others in our squad, we've got the usual normal squad. And uh, I think that'll do, to be fair. Even though it's only one change, I think the... I think the other members of the team during the Wrexham game did good. It was just the fact that we went out to 10 men early on cost us the game, really. Because we we, it cost us two goals because of that. 
whilst uh, having them down to ten men, and he got them the one, only got us the one goal. So nothing will happen to Barnet should they lose to us. However, we could move up to third, and or we could potentially drop out of the playoff places. So come on, we can get in. Right, so we're going to be uh, tight marking Wesley Burns and putting him there. We're closing down Joe Byram. We're going to do. I'm going to do something different with this um, setup, though. Their defensive midfielder, player manager Edgar Davids, Edgar Davids. I'm going to be putting under closing down. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to be putting under normal tackling. The reason being is because he used to play internationally and he still plays for 40 years old. So, yeah, we want to keep him off the ball. To go out there, express yourself. Express your despair. And I'm going to give the faith talk to the midfielders because it makes them happy. So, starting off this game against Barnet. Uh, looks like we're going to have an opening highlight. We've got Gittings. Gittings with the ball. Oh, and a free kick already to the Harriers. And it goes straight to their keeper. We're going to get the first shots, but we immediately peg back on that. So, it's going to... This is going to be one of these games where I think we could potentially lose at home. Because Barnet, they are quite good attacking, and they're also good defensively as well. So, and, yeah, so we're going to need to be looking. That's a yellow card for Josh Gowling. First yellow card goes to a kiddie player. Great, just what I need. Got Vaughan with the long throw, gives it to Devaney. Devaney finds on Barlow, and Barlow tries to get it up the pitch. Can he look to find the person, or will he get tackled? Yeah, uh, gives it to Forbes. Forbes to Jackman to Vaughan. Vaughan trying to run down the near side, and the cross goes immediately to their goalkeeper. And the kick goes to Gambin. Uh, good block there by Vaughan. And it burns. Oh, and a goal for Barnett. Left for dead. The defence. Defence got completely burned. They were thinking he was offside, but you know, it's not going to happen like that. Clearly. Defensive free kick here. This is going to result in some sort of freaking goal. Uh, maybe not. That clearance is a bit shit. I don't know why. We cleared it that far out. Got Burns on the ball. Pass it to Via. And the cross hits the bar. Goes, Gets cleared out to O'Neill. And that is it for the half. 1-0 down. Yeah, we need to freaking give them the use of team talk. And we... um. Expect a much better showing. Because we need it. We need a better showing. I mean, we've had more shots on target, yet we don't take our freaking chances. <sighs> Defensive corner. Gets cleared out. Tries to go to Davids, but it falls to Marbon. Marbon with the ball. Gives it to Lewis. Lewis kicks it all the way up to... the Tries to get it to Devaney, he falls back to Gambin, to Burns. Burns on the edge of the box, and Zyla gets to the tackle. Passes it to Gowling, Gowling clears. Burn on the right-hand side, he's going to have a free cross. Never mind, it goes to falls to Byram, and Byram shoots and scores! Yep, exactly what happens there. No one closed him down, really. And that's what particularly happened. See what I'm talking about? About freaking Barnett's, um... Look at that, 17 shots. Where the hell did that come from? I'm playing defensive, yet we can't get the ball up to the strikers. And they, they have had 17 shots. 17. And Gowling's off. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. <sighs> another red card. It's just like, can we play another one? Bites of dust. Oh, wait, copyright issues. Can't exactly do that now, can we? We have to take um, Balu off. We have to switch him all the way back to defense. Though, so we can bring on George King. And we're going to be playing Marlon as our little shadow... Sh wow, our little Tegretista that's up front. Yeah, support, support. Yeah, su 
Oh wait, Mom, we can't play anything other than attacking anyway. This is 58 minutes in, do I want to make a sub? No. So another 10 man game. This practically, this match has been thrown out the window. Again. I mean, it, seriously, how bad are we getting? Freaking every game now is a sending off. Got a uh, free kick here, doesn't fall to anyone. Got Burns. Clears it long, falls to Demetriou, tries to get it to Gittings, gets cut out. Got Via on the ball, tries to find Gambin, and Gambin's got the ball, and yet, oh wow, he missed. <sighs> that could have been bad. That could have been a lot bad. Uh, I'm going to make a substitution here. We're going to be bringing on Marvin Johnson. We're going to be making him as an attacking inside forward. And uh, we're going to be leaving it at that for the time being. 23 shots! Lovely. So I got a guy who's getting kind of pissily pounded. But Forbes passes it to Johnson. Johnson will find Malbon. He gets the ball. And the shot is on and it scores. Yeah, the comeback is on. Yeah, I, that's going to jinx it. <laughs> so we actually get a goal against Barnet. I was hoping that we actually did score a goal. Because I didn't want to have played both our matches and not score a thing. Yeah, it looks like this game is going to end. Loads of fouls this game committed by Kitty. Probably what's been costing us, really. And, oh, and another goal for Barnett. Falls directly to the Burns. Oh, wow, he got the foul. Wow, he was offside. <laughs> and again, that's going to be GG. Unless, Vaughan can, unless like, Forbes can do something well good here with that. And he gets launched, and that's it. Come on, hurry up. End this game. Come on, Gittins, run after that. Nah, that's it. Game over. It's our first loss at home. For ages. I mean, like, seriously, it's three losses on the bounce. <sighs> not happy with that performance. I'm not happy. Another sending off. It's really annoying me how many players are getting sent off. It's just completely and utterly confounding me on how bad we are actually getting. I mean, Backlesfield won their game. Lincoln dropped points, but still managed to pick up one. I mean, like, seriously, this is just getting annoying. These freaking sending offs. Pissing me off. Uh, yeah, sign your contracts. Forest Green secure their playoff spot. Good for them. Joel Byron. Yeah, Port Vale boss. Yeah, yeah. Give you a warning. It's your first sending off, I think, Mr. Gowling. Uh, our next match is at home against Southport. Bottom of the table. Seriously, if we don't get this freaking win, I uh, seriously things are going to be things are going to be like freaking kicking off here, because really things need to be sorted. Yeah, so he signs for us, and immediately going to be putting him under a training program. Uh, what's his uh, posi best position? Best positions. DM. No. Looking MC. I want it MC. Not DM because DM's like. Uh, he he's better as a ball winning midfielder. Are we sure about that? Ball winning midfielder. Why not? We could do with training a new one anyway, because Carl Stork is getting himself sent off, so we need someone else to replace it. Replace him when he does. This is just getting annoying now when he gets sent off. I'm getting annoyed every time someone gets sent off. We get so many people doing it now this season. You know, like Carl Stork has got four, Nazala's got two, gallery has got one, Vaughn's got one. I mean, like, it's it's throwing games away, and it's not good enough. It's unfortunate still that Dunkley is still out. Attacking movement. Yes, that is the main thing. 
We need to win this game, and we need to win it sharpish. It's three games in, out of the five, this... Um, thing, uh, wow. <laughs> Fail. Um, yeah, I'll s I'm going to skip to the game itself. I am going to be making some changes to the squad for this game. Right then, Southport. And between games, I went and got myself a new signing. A signing to end all signings for this season. Where is he? He's in the, in the 21s. That signing. I have signed 15 year old Steve Wolfrell. He is a regen, and I'm really surprised he hasn't snapped up any quicker. He is a target man, but he can also play as an advanced forward. He's 15, and he has that. Yeah. I know. And his current reports are saying Prem. Yeah. So, in case Mr. Gash gets a bit one-eyed and decides I'm going to leave, I have the best backup I can get. And also, he can also play as an advanced forward with the same amount of goodness. However, though, he isn't quick. He's just mainly heading. So, in terms of training, I'm going to be training him as a target man. Actually, no, scratch that. We're going to be, we're going, to be going for a special attribute first. And that is going to be... Quickness. Because he's young, we need to improve his physical attributes now. And if we can get his acceleration and pace up, we can train as an advanced forward to take a well advanced forward to take over from Melbourne when he leaves. If we don't get promoted, of course. Now the last game we lost a Southport away. Three two, and that was because Carl Storer got himself sent off within the first ten minutes. A repeat, I'm hoping, will not happen again. Because we are not going to be playing him. However, we do have a bit of ifs in terms of um, defensive capabilities. I will be bringing Nana Tumasi into the, into the bench. Just in case if anybody decides to get picky and get injured. In terms of winger play, I'm actually going to bring in... D'Angelo in for Gittings. We're going to be putting Gittings in the midfield position instead of Hamilton Forbes. Uh, Gittings can't really play that position. He, can't, he can only play the left. So we're just going to switch him there. And play him as a box to box. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we need to have someone there. Someone that can actually do some damage. And Gittings has been having a decent season. However, he's just been... I'd rather have a different kind of attacking mentality. Uh, in terms of anything else... Actually, scratch that. We're going we're gonna to have Burns start this game, actually. And we're going to have him as a box to box because we need him need him up and down really actually no he's been playing better as an advanced player maker to be honest I'm gonna keep him like that as for anything else that'll do both Gowling and Dunkley will be back for the next game though I will be integrating them back into the squad in terms of my new signing since he's only 15, if I keep if I if I push him too far, he's just gonna not really get anywhere. So I'm gonna be playing him very cautiously. We want to be getting him trained. However, I'd rather not lose him in the summer because some like Premiership team is looking at him. Well, not not that one, that one. And that's not what I'm look. While they could offer me money for him, which is actually what I want. 
the money I want for him will be quite substantial. I'm looking for like six figure. Fully expect you to win this match. I did go for expected performance. I was thinking that maybe the midfielders might listen to me. However, ooh, first shot on target in the first three minutes. We've got D'Angelo on the ball, gives it to Dimitri. Dimitri has got the ball, gives it to D'Angelo. D'Angelo still got the ball, and it smacks it against the crossbar. So we've been getting shots, a lot of them. So maybe I could go. Con oh, actually, no. Defensive free kick, and it's been blocked out, and it's gone in. <sighs> are we kidding? We are losing to twenty-third place. Oh no wonder freaking King is injured. He's my only def freaking defender, and he's injured. Fricks. Oh, wow. We left him for dead. He scored. Why are we leaving him? Seriously, guys. Freaking come on. He just ran. Th he just walked through. He just walked through. Like nothing cared. Freaking pathetic. Falling apart. Devit. He's through on goal. And Lewis catches it. Tries to kick it to DeAndre. Yep, things are not going great. Jamin heads it to Fawn. Fawn keeps the ball. Gives it to Devaney. Devaney's looking to push. Gives it to Jackman. Ma Malwan's on the ball. Gives it to D'Angelo. And it's a freaking corner. <laughs> Attacking corner from Devaney. And doesn't go anywhere. Why do we have D'Angelo take them? Freaking hell. Wow, try to lob the keeper from that distance. 2-0 down. 2-0 freaking down. Give him that talk. Where's your passion? Disappointing everywhere. It's getting real pathetic. So, carrying on this game, hopefully we can actually do something. Hint, hint, kitty. We are losing the plot. I know we don't really have great finishes to the season, but seriously, things need to start upping. Adava with the throw in, throws it to dogs, and it goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. Don't know where's our formation gone. And got Charles Cook to Jokic to Dalbert. Close him down, please. Charles Cook. They're playing very, very dangerously there. We've got Jackman on the ball. Gives it to D'Angelo. D'Angelo's still got the ball. Gives it to Byrne. Byrne back to Dimitri. Dimitri trying to long ball it to Malwin. We've got Ombralu and it's good save for the corner. Go kick. Go kick. Devitt, Omer, Ledsham, Jackson, freaking Devitt. Well, come on, Mickey, get that ball off him. Jackson, he's still on goal, and it's a great serve. Oh, no wonder. Whoops. I have put Callum Gittins in there. There we go. Inside forward, attacking, freaking go. Play Ryan Rowe, freaking Mbappé. Why not give him target man status? Clearly nothing's going right here. Heads to Craig, defensive corner, and clears it to Hazel Craig, Craig again. Got love on the ball, followed by Ledsham. Joe's Kest. Is he going to get tackled here? No. Uh, back up to Davo on the near side. Looks like they're playing very defensive because they're just not even bothering. I mean, like, seriously, this is just getting a bit annoying. Offensive corner here. Marlborn gets it back out to Gittings. Gittings with another cross. Goes nowhere. 
Jackman f receives it towards the um, edge of their half. Gives it back to Vaughn. Back to Jackman. Gives it to King. Gets blocked by Flynn. It goes to Hesse Clerk. He's running down the far side. He's done two players. And Vaughn's tackling him from behind. That's a yellow card at the minimum. Defensive, defensive free kick. Devitt, and it's a freaking goal. Serious. Thank God. Seriously, what is going on with our form? We are literally just freaking go bleh, bleh. Throw in here, but freaking Gittings, Melbourne, Rose, Rose scores. Just get the ball and go. Thank you. Take the initiative. Just freaking go. Need to get ourselves back in this game. Defensive corner. Craig on the ball. Everyone crowds around the keeper. De Devitt's just freaking free and he scores. We are still losing, guys. Why are we still so careless with the ball? God, this is just getting from bad to worse in terms of form. We are down into seventh because everyone else is winning. Wake up. Oh, what kind of pass was that? Devaney's on the ball, far side. He gives it to Byrne. Byrne finds Jackman. Jackman gives it to Marwin. Devaney on the ball. Gets blocked by Devaney. Devaney gives it to Rowan. Row scores. Freaking get the ball and go. Get the ball and go. Come on. Ryan Rowe hat trick. Come on. Come on. Throw in by Dimitri. Gives it to Jackman. And Jackman scores. The comeback has been completed. Let's win the game now. Win it. Win it. Make the sub. Make the sub happen. Bring on Marvin Johnson there for Devaney. We need the freaking win. Lewis with the goal kick. Tries to find Jackman. Gets blocked out. Asaw is on the ball. He's in his own half. Gives it to, to get, gives it to Devitt. Devitt on the near side. Devitt and Demetrio gets blocked by Demetrio. Goes to Darville. Darville to Love. Back to Darville. To to Love. Tries to but form blocks that out nicely. Gives it to Rowe. Rowe's on the far side. Gives, uh, blocked by Johnson. And goes back to Rowe. And has a Craig Lancer to take the ball from Rowe. But was so away. Finds, finds Devitt. And it's caught by Lewis. Lewis still with the ball. Kicks it out. Tries to find Gittings. And that's it for the, that's it for the um, highlight. Throw in by Dimitri. Finds Byrne. Dimitri on the ball. Goes back to Byrne. To Jackman. Clears it out to Nasala. Can we get another freaking goal? Come on. And that's it. GG. Passed it back. That allows the keeper to end the whistle at this very freaking last minute. Even if it's in the box, as long as it's the ball has gone backwards, he can end the game in this game. That's what they're programmed to do. They're looking for the pass back and nothing. Not good enough. It just seems confused and demotivated. Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. Frick off. I'm not risking completely damaging the whole thing. Look at that. Seventh. Potential now, not even getting playoff. Because of this bad run of form from freaking March. <sighs> Send home. He's suffering from a virus. I don't want any more. Two weeks out for George King. That's fine. We've got two defenders coming back anyway. Uh, Dunkley. Where's Dunkley? Dunkley. Dunkley, my main man. Get back in the squad. We need you there, boy. And Gowling can take the S2. Because Nazala's playing decently for now. Well, wow, Devaney is somewhat unhappy. Harsh team talk. <laughs> Our next game is against Salisbury. 21st. I mean, these games should... Most of these games should have been wi freaking winnable. But no, we've, we're like six games without winning. Uh, yeah. 
Yes, I'm going to hold a team meeting. Why not? Boom. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Boom. Hold the team in. Hold the back room in. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not? No. Monroe well, scored two goals for us. Quite nice. He's actually improving. Somewhat. He is on the, one of the largest contracts of the club, though. Which is a bit worrisome, really. But seriously, we have dropped out of the playoffs, and it's just not good enough now. We're in the playoffs pretty much all season. Apart from, like, the first month. And then we just drop out of it because we lose four games. We, we can't get a win in six games. It's consistency which will get me out of this league. Uh, Alfreton win the FA Trophy. Good for them. They won it on penalties. Uh, attacking movement, if yeah, freaking why not? <laughs> why not? Uh, for this, I'm gonna skip ahead now to the um to the Salisbury game where we're gonna be making some changes to the squad because we are playing too many people. So, well, we're playing people too much and it's really annoying me now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Right then, last game of the month. I'll be glad to see this month behind me. Right, so at home, we beat them. But we're playing away, and the last time we won away was God knows. Between cuts, Jenny Jackman got injured. Very good. But I'm going to make a bit of a change. Remember that signing I made? We're going to see how good he really is. Because apparently his, his current freaking that, f that, uh, yeah, why the frick not? We were gonna, things are going from bad to worse, and yeah, we're looking for a bit of, um, oomph in the team, and exactly, that is exactly what we're going for. Bring Steve Rodwell into the, into the squad. It's actually pushed Marlon's, um, current ability down a notch. It's about time someone kicked some sense into him, really, to be honest. <laughs> Fawn's one yellow card away again from a freaking match ban, which is which will be three. Which will be three. We have a lot of people that are, um... Um... What's the word? What is the word for that? Wanted by clubs. So, yeah, we want to be pushing against that. For some reason, Fowler, I think he's match fit. Yeah, he's severely lacking a match fitness, even though I played him like a few games ago. I mean, like, seriously, what the frick? Uh, put Jack Burn back on the bench. You go sit back on the bench and think about what you did. <laughs> Uh, having a look at the yeah, uh, we got no other choice. We're gonna have to play Fowler here. Squad number will be given to one of our players. He will be getting the number thirty-one. Because I see no other point numbers. Because usually I play the first team in the first twenty shirts, then first team subs. Well, actually, no, first team signings in the twenty to thirty, and then the anything else like youngsters and loanies in the 30s and up so that's how I usually do them so we can move up to fourth we can move back into the playoffs if we somehow win but we know that's not gonna be easy they are using our weak freaking formation I mean like seriously everybody's using it freaking pissing me off I mean, seriously, it's like a freaking Achilles heel. We can't really do anything with it. We only can do so much. 
So, freaking Lone Striker. We're going to close him down as well. We're going to take him completely out of the game. Yeah, like, nobody really cared about that. So, just give them the freaking I expect much. Expect a freaking performance. And then we'll give some of them a faith talk. Because even the faith talk isn't helping me now. Freaking, it's, it's just like, yeah, we're happy, we're happy. Psych. Anyway, kicking off. And immediately lose the ball. Great job. Like, how long was that? Ten seconds? <laughs> well, we lost the ball. I think it was even quicker. Just literally past the feet. Uh, might as well just put it on counter right now, because, yeah, we're going to be expecting somewhat of a hard game, because we can't even win away. You know, it's the freaking Southport. At least so I have removed the likelihoods of those being sent off during away games. Got Fowler, he gives it to Forbes, and Forbes uh, and Nazala just freaking hoops it up the field. Didn't really go anywhere. Don't oh, wow, great move there by Dunkley, and yeah, that's what happens. Uh, I think it was. I think it was out of his reach, but he should have just looked behind him. I think. I think it was ball watching far too much. And already they've scored. And looks like they're going to score again. Never mind. Another clear cut chance there for Salisbury. That one they didn't take. We got Freer with the corner. This is going to end up as a goal. Never mind. It's another corner. So it's another chance at goal. Sinclair this time taking it. Goal. Goal. No, never mind. It's another corner. Another Sinclair defensive corner. And it goes back out to Sinclair. He'll have another crack at it. Never mind. Gittings is there to intercept. Got Johnson. Johnson on the ball. And that's the end of the highlight. I mean, look at that domination. <sighs> 21st. Completely dominating us. Show me something else. I don't care. Freaking just do it. Do it. Bring on Jabber now, because we need him. We need him on now. Uh, having a look at the team. Ball winner midfielder? No, box to box. Advanced playmaker? No, box to box. Place burners, advanced playmaker, actually. Should have done this sooner, but, you know, things don't get that way. Anyway, they're kicking off. I may have to, next season. I may look at formation, formation changes, because I have been sticking with this formation all season long, and it's not really, it's really been kicking us in the teeth. To be fair, especially in this latter half of the season, especially when we're playing teams again. But Beasley, oh, completely skips through Forbes, and it just allows them to have an attack down the far far side. Got Kelly. Gives it to Wellard, to Dutton, to Wellard, who will look to pass it back out to the wing. We've got Kelly, back to Brett, to, to Sinclair, to Wellard. Wellard still with the ball. Tries to get it all the way. Oh, Freya with the ball. With, uh, skips through Vaughan and Freya finds the net. A freaking hell. Seriously, we can't intercept that kind of ball? I mean, this is caught... Ah, uh, there we go. He's going to be suspended now. Vaughan has been booked again. And it's like 15th yellow card this season. Or something along those lines. Making subs. Need to. Got no choice. Whoa, whoa. Back that frick up. Got no choice in the matter. We need to freaking people. But we need to put people on. Making tactical changes. Bring on two people for 20 minutes. Switching to overload because we're losing anyway. So what's uh, what's the harm in doing it? Last 10 minutes of the game. Attacking corner by D'Angelo. And it's gone all the way. And it hits the bar. And it's gone up to the throne. 
Such a crap corner for such a good set piece taker. I mean, like, seriously, what the frick? And uh, nothing seems to be happening. They have shut up shop. That's it. Four losses, one freaking draw. Oh my god. One point from five. Pathetic! Oh, come on! We can't even clear the ball our own off! What the hell's going on? Go! I know it's supposed to cord off. Watch the, watch the ref blow the whistle. There we go. And that's pretty much what happened. That's all she wrote, folks. Freaking hell. That's pretty much ended our freaking playoff chances. I mean, I've given the freaking team meeting. Well, look, we're eighth. Oh, for God's sake, what is going on? Six matches to go with five points off the freaking pegs. I mean, seriously. And everybody's picking up points everywhere, apart from me. Oh, this is just so annoying. Can't win away. Now we can't win at home. And things are just getting, like, just complete... Yeah, Tam was the first one to go, actually. Yep, Tam was the first one to go. They've been relegated. Yep, uh, his professional debut. Didn't really do anything, but we don't matter. He's only 15 years old. What's he gonna do? <sighs> I do have um, people in line who I want to get for next season. And no, it's not Danny Wright. I'm not getting anyone from Forest Green because they're getting a promote anyway. Yeah, not really much going for um these guys. However. Yeah, three match ban for Lee Vaughan, and that will bring in on. Oh, wait, he's injured. <sighs> yep, uh, they're gonna have to do that then. I mean, like, I think some people are like, just purposely playing crap just so I get rid of them and they get, like, better freaking clubs and all that shoot. And, yep, that. Yeah, so uh, this freaking month has been a disaster. So in we've only got one month more month to go. We've got six games. Get points gettable, loss because we can't win. Points gettable, loss. Points gettable loss. So we have we can potentially pick up nine points. Which is probably not gonna be enough. Cause we're five points behind the pace, so we're gonna need to hope that Lincoln have a really tough month. Do they? Do they? Oh, I can't even check. Give me a minute. Uh they got Dartford, Salisbury, Cambridge, Wrexham and Barnet. Uh Salisbury's winnable Everything else though isn't, so yeah. They are they're currently having a bad spell, but you know, what can I do? What can I do? It's the players really. I can't really blame I can't really blame myself really. We've had such a great start and then we just fall off the pace. <sighs> Sucks. I mean, if we don't get promoted this season, we're gonna have a serious look at for next season on who we're gonna be getting. We're gonna be trying we're gonna need to um cut down on wage budget but like so much I mean uh, having a look at the finances we're actually in the black we finally hit it we're not in the black we're in the red <laughs> whoopsie we're in the red we finally hit it <laughs> rock bottom in debt great we will look at changing that in the near future 
just lowering wage budget. But until then, nothing much I can do. Well, one, well, yeah, that happened. Anyway, so in the next part, we're going to be doing the last bit of the season. Hopefully I can get myself back into the playoffs. If not, serious work to be done. So I'll see you guys then for that.